Hey guys, it's Amy, and today I'm gonna be doing something very different from anything else that I've done on my channel before. Um, if you're a subscriber, you know that this channel is usually about um, making babies, infertility, being a mom, things like that. But since I'm having a very uneventful pregnancy at the moment, which is a good thing, um, there's really not much to say. I am 33 weeks today and I just felt like I wanted to um, just do something a little different and maybe a little entertaining on my channel. So I mentioned a few, a couple videos back a few weeks ago that I would do a story time soon. So I have a story time for you and this is about the time that I declined an offer to have lunch with Kendra Wilkinson. Now, I really hope that I'm not like super aging myself with this because she's honestly not like the most relevant celebrity at the moment, but we're talking back in 2008, 2009 at the height of the popularity of the show, The Girls Next Door, where she was one of the three main stars. Um, it was basically a show about the Playboy Mansion and Hugh Hefner and his three girlfriends that live there. And she was like the young, sporty, spirited one. And um, so at the time, you know, if you were in my demographic, like a young girl in the, her 20s, chances are you not only watched the show, but you like were obsessed with it, like I was. And at that time, I was also brand new to Los Angeles. I had just moved there in 2006 from my home state of Massachusetts. And I moved there with a bachelor's degree in psychology um, at the time that the economy was tanking. So basically, I basically had a, a, a high school diploma at that point. Like I couldn't use my degree on very much. So I had to get a job as a waitress and I chose to go work at the Olive Garden. So I didn't work there. I only worked there for maybe an, a year and a half, but pretty, not you know not too long after I had started working there there was a contest that Playboy was searching for the girls of the Olive Garden meaning real actual verifiable employees of the Olive Garden and the, the it was for a, a feature a nude feature that would be put on their cyber club which I don't even think exists anymore it was like an online version of their of their brand and um, it was like a pay site, you have had, had to have a subscription. And so I wasn't, you know, it wasn't to be in the magazine, but it was to be on their cyber club. Um, and they had done a few features like that before. They had done, I think, McDonald's, Home Depot, some other ones that I can't remember. But at the time I was thinking, oh my gosh, like I just happened to be working at the Olive Garden. I just got a job here not too long ago. I shouldn't even be doing this. I should be working like some other career, but I can't at the time. And I'm like, I'm new to California. I just wanted to like have new experiences and do fun things I wouldn't get to do if I still lived at home. So I was like, you know what? Like this is so, you know, nude modeling is like so not my thing. I never was one of those girls who like always dreamed of being a playmate at all, even though I loved that sh the, the Girls Next Door show. But I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna apply and see what happens. So long story short, I got chosen. I was one of six girls from across the country who got featured in the Girls of the Olive Garden for the Playboy Cyber Club. Yes, that's my claim to fame. <laughs> And I was never like super proud of that. I was always like, oh God, like this is gonna embarrass me for the rest of my life, which it pretty much does. But I mean, it's, nope, I don't talk about it anymore. You know, it's like very rarely I even think about it. But at the time I'm like, yes, this is super lame, but like, why not? Especially because the Girls Next Door show was so popular and I was like, oh my God, like this would, you know, maybe be a cool opportunity to like be involved in the Playboy culture because they had tons of parties at the mansion and it was just super hot at the moment. So I was like, hey, why not? So the first, I did two features actually. The first one was the, the one, you know, that was advertised for the contest. I went to Chicago, took those pictures. The pictures came out, they were on the cyber club. Everybody thought I was, you know, either crazy or nuts or whatever, I don't know, it was like kind of a big deal like in my, in my inner circle. And um, a few months later, Playboy got in touch with me again to have me come back to do 
A second feature, this time it would be, the pictures would be taken at the Playboy Mansion and Kendra Wilkinson, one of the main um, stars of The Girls Next Door, would be the photographer because I guess on the show she had mentioned a few times that her favorite restaurant was the Olive Garden. So that's kind of why they picked that and they picked her and just kind of went with the theme of, of the show. So um, I was so excited by this, by the way. I'm like, I get to go to the Playboy Mansion. I get to meet Kendra Wilkinson. She's gonna be my photographer. Oh my God, I think I'm gonna die. Like this is the coolest thing in the whole entire world. Like I just, I, I, I just couldn't even contain my excitement at that time. So <clears throat> I go to the mansion and the first half of the day is a different photographer. So um, I had my pictures taken by him and then we had lunch and then after lunch, Kendra came in and she was the photographer for the next few hours for the rest of the shoot. And she was like super professional, like she was like posing me and you know, she was like getting all into me like she was the photographer. And then when the day is over, she decides like she would like to have some lunch because she wasn't there when, you know, all of us had eaten earlier. And so she is so kind and so sweet and asks me, invites me to go along with her in the mansion and go have lunch. She's like, hey, I want to go eat lunch. Would you like to come with me? And my stupid immature brain just like panics at the time because all I could think about is the fact that I had just eaten lunch like I wasn't hungry and like there was she asked like in front of all the crew and like the hair and makeup lady which by the way I was getting a bad vibe from her like I felt like she was just so annoyed that she had to like be working on an amateur or something I don't know but like she was not pleasant she was not friendly I felt like she was judging me I felt like she you know just thought I was like some dumb little girl who shouldn't even have been there so Kendra asked like within earshot of a lot of people and I just panicked and I'm like so like such a like a brutally like honest person that I was just like thinking in my head like I was just thinking I can't have lunch with her I already had lunch all these people just saw me have lunch because I had lunch with them so if I say yes to this I'm gonna look like a basic bitch who just is like an opportunist and who's just like, yeah, I'm like starving. Like, let me go in there and like eat lunch with you. Oh my God, thank you so much. And for some reason, like I just, I just cared way too much about what everybody would have thought of me. And so she asked me and I panic and I say, oh no, that's okay. I just had lunch. I just declined a very basic, simple, innocent offer to go have lunch with Kendra inside the Playboy Mansion from the kitchen that is like showcased on the show as like, oh, order anything you want. The, the cooks will make it for you, which I always thought was so cool. I <laughs> get my chance to go in there and I turn it down because I cared way too much what people were thinking of me. And when I think back on that, and by the way, like I immediately was just like punching myself like in the face in my head for saying that. I'm like, how do I fix this? That's just what just came out of my mouth. But I, you know, as I get older and I think back on that time, I'm like, Amy, nobody cared what your answer was. Like nobody would have cared at all if you had gone in there and had lunch with her. Nobody would have thought you were an opportunist. Nobody would have given like, everybody was like worried about themselves, you know? Like it was such a learning moment for me to like not care what people think because you can miss out on something really cool like I did. So then I felt like a complete jerk because she's probably like, I could tell that she was a little like taken back by that. Like, oh, like, okay. Like, screw you too. Like, no, she wasn't mean about it at all. But I mean, <laughs> she probably was not like expecting me to be like, no, I'm good. Like, I'm all set. Like, I, that's just, I mean, no. Like, <laughs> I'm so, so stupid. Oh my God. Um, But yeah, I just, I still like would love to have known like what could have come of that. Like, could we have been friends? Like, could I have come back to more cool events at the mansion? which I did later on end up going to parties at the mansion. I've been there several times, but like I could have had like the VIP entry during a time when that was like such a coveted thing. Like all the girls my age, like would have loved to be in that position. And I turned it down 
because I was worried about the hairdresser like giving me the side eye. Like, <laughs> oh my God, I'm so stupid. So <clears throat> I just, I don't know. I'm sure Kendra will never see this video, but if she ever did, I did not mean to purposely turn you down. I wasn't trying to be like too cool for school. I just was young and I panicked because I was dumb and immature and intimidated by the whole thing, to be quite honest. Uh, but if that was now, I'd be like, girlfriend, like, mm-hmm, let's go. Like, I would not care one iota what anybody thought about the situation. So definitely a learning experience for me, if nothing else. Okay, so that's my first story time video. I have more. I mean, it's not going to be anything like crazy or insane, but you know, I did have a lot of fun. I did have, you know, some really interesting things happen to me those several years that I was single and living in LA. So I'll share more. Let me know what you guys saw of this video. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it and you'd like to hear a little bit more about my LA escapades before I got all, you know, hashtag mom life. Um, it feels like that was like a different century. Like I can't even believe that was like my life at some point. But um, you know, it's kind of fun to reminisce anyway. All right guys, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.